have a list of foods we're gonna try. Yeah, yeah. Let's go eat. The food here in Taiwan never disappoints. It's like a little chocolate llama bong. There's spicy noodles and a peanut sauce. Look at that. Look how yummy that looks. Oh my gosh, takes your breath away. I'm so nervous to try this. Welcome, Welcome to Taipei! Hey, perfect, you guys. So good. So good. Appreciate you. Welcome back to Taipei here in Taiwan. When planning this trip to Taiwan, what we got most excited for was all the different types of food. So today, we're doing one of our favorite things, eating our way through the city. We have a pile. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no better way to start the day than with boba tea and freshly made donuts. So we tried the traditional Taiwanese breakfast in our first video here. Make sure you go back and check that out. And when I was researching other places, we found this donut shop, which is super popular. Check out the line. Let's try these out. Oh, that looks good. How delicious does this look? This is amazing. It's crispy on the outside, very soft in the middle. Worth the wait for sure. Best way to start the day. So Tommy and I found the cutest little boba shop. I mean, half the fun of having boba is finding like the... <coughs> Sir, I'm doing a take. <laughs> Just kidding. Half the fun of finding a boba is finding like the cute like little aesthetic shops to go to and we found one with like a little sleepy sloth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye guys. Bye bye. So boba tea actually originated in Taiwan back in the 80s and essentially it's just your choice of tea, level of milk, sugar, and of course you can add boba. I typically get mine without milk just because it fills me up, especially with the tapioca pearls. But Tommy's brown sugar one is so, so good. Awesome. branch just because we're gonna go up Taipei 101 after we eat. We have our waiting ticket here. It was only a 30 minute wait and I heard the wait could get up to like an hour and a half so I feel like we're pretty lucky because it is the lunch hour rush right now. Only one more. Oh 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 we're next but oh. I like how they have our the times up on the screen. It's like you're waiting to win the food lottery. <laughs> we win <laughs> Follow the robot. <laughs> We've never been led to a seat of a robot. No, oh, it's cute. Wow, this place is huge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ollie. I am so stoked for this. I have so many things I want to order. Thank you. Thank you. We have like a checklist of every dish they bring to us and they check it off as they deliver it. Okay, so we ordered some cold green beans with minced pork on top as an appetizer. Cold, salty, a little bit oily green beans. And we also ordered the cold, spicy cucumbers. So crunchy. These cucumbers taste so fresh. Ooh, there's a little kick to them. It's a little spicy. Thank you. Time for the main event. The thing that everybody comes here for. This is the prettiest little dumpling I've ever seen. So this restaurant is known to take like a lot of pride in how they make their Shaolong Bao. There's supposed to be 18 little folds on the top of this and you can see like the little skin is just so thin and like, I don't know, delicate. I'm supposed to poke a hole, but I'm just gonna use my teeth and drink, okay, slow down. I'm too excited to eat these. So you're supposed to try it without any sauce first and then on the next one you can try it with sauce. So, ooh, that soup is really good. 
Oh, it's a very light flavor. Oh, I got the pork ones too. There's like 10 different kinds you can order. Oh my God. I thought I was ordering too much food, but we definitely need more of these. These are amazing. Oh, I get it now. And then it leaks out through the spoon. It doesn't even need any sauce. I love that so much. I actually might be more excited for these noodles than I was for the Shaolong Bao, the girl that I watch on TikTok. These are the noodles that she always orders. So they're spicy noodles in a peanut sauce. I love something spicy, so. Wow, those are amazing. That's phenomenal. This is Sammy's favorite, but I have to go with the dumplings are the best. They're so juicy and tender. So for our another dish, we have the spicy pork wontons. This is so good. <clears throat> a little spicy. Sammy's been hyping this place up for a long time. It's living up to all the hype. This has been so good. I was a little bit skeptical because it's on every blog post. Whenever you look at food to come try in Taipei, it's, it's, that's, this is the restaurant that you see. I am very impressed. Everything we ordered was so good. Very it was very good. And I'm ready for the chocolate Shaolong Bao now, which is what we ordered for dessert. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, how cute they are. Oh my gosh. It's like a little chocolate lava bomb. Yeah. It's so good. I'm like so happy right now. These are actually amazing. They do just explode in your mouth. The chocolate tastes very high quality. Let's sneak one more and force Sammy can grab it. <laughs> wow, what a great meal. The only thing I can complain about is I felt a little rush. Just the way, I think they're trying to turn in people in and out as fast as they can and they bring you so many dishes all at once, it's always kind of just a little rush to them. Super convenient, because now that we're already in Taipei 101, we're gonna head to the top and see the beautiful view. The visibility is poor today. Each ticket was 600 a piece, and the 91st floor is closed, but we're going up to the 89th now. This used to be the world's tallest building from 2002 to 2010, I believe, and it used to be the world's fastest elevator as well. Oh, really? Oh, that's not a good sign. She said, she said scary. I told you it'd be scary. about to give out right now. Huh? My knees, I walked into this window and I was like, I can't go any further. Wow, this is so crazy, isn't it? I did not expect it to be so high. Well, I didn't realize. Oh, oh. Wow, I got so dizzy just looking out here. We are so high. When we went up the elevators, it goes up so fast. I had to pop my ears like three different times. It's pretty wild. Look at that. Oh my gosh, takes your breath away. So it's really cool. You can walk around this whole building, get 360 degree views. And they have all these beautiful flowers, like little spots you can take pictures of, little setup things. But the views here are just incredible. So beautiful and a little frightening too. You guys, look how small those cars look. <laughs> So I read about this. This huge bowl actually makes this building earthquake proof up to a 9.0 earthquake, which avoided the building swaying. This big bowl sways the other way and keeps it balanced, which is very cool. It's crazy to think we were just all the way on top of there, isn't it? I know. I feel. I still feel like a little bit dizzy. Oh yeah. Don't go up there if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> Before we head to our next stop, I want to let you guys know how Tommy and I managed to stay connected while we're traveling. Thankfully, we always have data with our Aerolo eSIM. Tommy and I have been using Aerolo's eSIM for over two years in over 10 different countries, which is why we're so excited to be partnering with them on today's video. If you guys are unfamiliar with what an eSIM is, it's essentially a digital version of your phone's SIM card. What this means is that you can have access to the internet and make phone calls without ever needing that physical SIM. 
All you have to do is download Airlo's app, choose your plan, and follow the simple activation instructions. And the best part is that Airlo has plans in over 200 different countries and regions. Tommy and I loved having it last year in Europe because we bought their global plan. So that meant that we didn't have to buy a new eSIM for every single country that we went to, and it just made it really nice. We never had to worry about finding public Wi-Fi, buying physical SIM cards, or dealing with like data roaming charges or anything like that. If you guys are interested in an eSIM, we're gonna leave the link below. You guys can use our code SNT3 for $3 off your first eSIM. All right, time to get some more food. We're heading to the Ralha Night Market. Thank you. <laughs> Look how pretty the entrance is. It's very pretty. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so we're here at the Ralha Night Market. I have a list of foods we're gonna try. Yeah, yeah. Let's go eat. One of the top things to do here in Taiwan, period, is visit the night markets. And I think we're at one of the most popular ones. Yeah, definitely. If you look on blog posts, this one's gonna be on the list. Wow, it's really cool walking through the street. It just keeps going and going. Besides all the food and restaurants, the smells here are so interesting. So many choices to eat at, a bunch of souvenirs as well, and a very diverse crowd. What do you think so far? I like it. I'm ready <laughs> to find something, to eat, something yummy to eat. All right. I think there'd be no better first stop than having a beer. What do you think? Heck yeah, I do. They even have an IPA. So do you have a personal favorite beer? The IPA. The IPA is your favorite? Yes. Okay, I made it's the right really decision. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I have to start off with an IPA. This is delicious too. Oh, it's so good. So it's a local brewery called Taihu Brewing. When I was a kid, it was really terrible. I actually cried once because my parents are eating sticky tofu at our home. And it was so stinky, I cried. I was so mad. Why would you do that to me? Because the, the smell was te so terrible. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> no, so we're gonna, it actually uh, smells that bad. It depends on how they make it. Like okay. every shop, uh, they taste different. Okay. But yeah, most of them smells really bad. Is there a place here to have it? I think there is a vendor that way, also like in the middle. Okay, <laughs> okay now we have a good list yeah. of items. We're to prepared now, to thank try. you. What was your name? Uh, Jen. 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 Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Sammy and Tommy. Where'd you learn such good English? YouTube. Really? Okay. Brooklyn at night. And Modern Family. Yeah, that's so good. Good, good choices. So we were just yeah. we were just telling Jen that we're gonna upload this video soon, so she'll be on YouTube. She said, "I'm nervous." I'm like, "Me too." <laughs> I always get nervous when we upload. That's yeah, so nice meeting you. Yeah. Wait. I saw Claire bought this in her video as her as her oh, as her Boba little Jane. yeah Boba Tiki Jane. Who's Claire? Chad and Claire. I meant tell the camera. Oh, Claire from Chad and Claire. In their video, they bought this as their little. Ornament on their Christmas tree. Can we copy? That's a cute idea. Yeah, you <laughs> should. How has, much is that? It has actual bobas. Copy it. Get it. Really? Yeah. I don't want to copy. Why? It's be, so cute though. It'd be such a cute idea on the tree. I actually do want it. Thank you, Claire, for the idea. We're definitely copying you. Oh, but we should get the pink one or the milk, the milk tea one. Yeah. Look how yummy that looks. It looks like chicharron. So it's 200 for a small and 300 for a big. You are so fast. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Uh, two years. What's your name? Uh, Catherine. What was it? Catherine. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Catherine. Hi. My husband likes to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he likes to pester all the vendors. <laughs> She's in the zone. She cannot be distracted. Look at her. <laughs> uh, cumin, chili, and onion. It's okay? Uh, yeah, yes. please. Oh, that looks you so good. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine. Oh. Wait, where's the speaker coming from? We just moved out of the way, and there's like a noise coming out of the sewer. I swear that it's coming from the sewer. It's like more in the movie It. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? <laughs> 
this was on my list of things to try. It's a very juicy pork with like crispy, crispy skin. And she put cumin, chili, and raw onion on top. This is incredible. <laughs> so good. Like, it's like come back for more later good. Oh. Okay. Little bite. <laughs> so we're gonna stop recording because I took way too big a bite. I got it down though. But a guy came up to us and was like, isn't that the best crispy pork you've ever had? He's like, I've been like three different times and you guys picked the right spot. So he actually said we ate at a lot of places in the market and this was his favorite thing. How this is our first stop. How could that be the best though? That was so good. So fantastic. Sammy won't even share it anymore. She's just scarfing away in the background. There's only two pieces left. Whatever. Okay. Got disappeared so quickly. Sad. Last bite. I didn't wait to attack. All right. How are we gonna top that? I don't know. I really don't know. Seems like most people too. It was a huge line. The line is a little intimidating, but it moves very fast. I was in it for less than a minute. I don't know if I should have ordered two of them because they're pretty big. They were only 60 Taiwan dollars. It's steaming, it's very hot. I'm gonna like cool for a second. Waiting music. <laughs> bread is so crunchy, crunchy, and the inside is just like mm, juicy and it is like has a deep like black pepper flavor. These are good. I'm excited. They're so hot though. Proceed with caution. I love the process. It seems so old school, ancient, the way they're cooking them right on the fire like that, even the, the burnt edge. We are three for three so far in the night market. And the black pepper gives a nice little kick. Like I keep saying, the food here in Taiwan never disappoints. So it just turned seven o'clock and this place is much more lively now. So beautiful with all the lights come out. This beautiful temple behind me here, I just went inside and they're doing some chants. So mystical and cool. But yeah, I'd wait till it gets dark before coming just cause the vibe is so much better. How many years? How old? Uh, what old? 15 years? Wow, wow. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye, let me go. Goodbye, let me go. Yeah, we've ate so many good things. Now we're gonna ruin it. I can smell it already. I don't think I'm gonna like it. It has a certain name for a reason, I think, though. Yeah. So we ordered a stinky tofu. Keyword stinky. What is stinky tofu? Is it like extra fermented or something? This is my first time. <laughs> 70. Okay, 70. Thank you. A little stinky. <laughs> it smells a little musty. And this is fried, fried stinky tofu. <laughs> Everything's been so good. Why we gotta ruin it? And to be honest, it's really not that bad. Wow, you are so full of it. It does not, not smell good to me in the okay. least bit. Cheers. Cheers. I like it. Do you like it? No. Oh my gosh, I like it. Oh no. No, no. Oh. It's kind of like sweet, earthy, like mushroomy. And I like the smell. Yum! I'm so sorry, but I usually like everything. This is not it for me. I'm gonna have to go back and get another beer now. This would be so good with a beer. Oh no. 
It would ruin the beer. <laughs> Wait, well, this was fun to try. I'm glad we tried it. <laughs> I just don't agree, it's okay. Whenever we walk past the stand, you're always like, ooh, that smell is getting to me. That is true. And usually I'm like, I didn't know what it was, but it, it's, I'm very sensitive to smells though too, with all foods. And yeah. With anything actually, perfumes, colognes, any of that stuff, so. You're right, every time I walk by one of these stands, I didn't know what it was before, but now I know. Yeah, usually I'm like, I don't even smell anything. And smell is so important for food with me, so. I feel bad, but I'm just being honest. So we have one more stop. We're gonna get some fried chicken, which is always great, and finish it off with another beer. When Sammy finishes the next 10 pieces of this tofu. <laughs> so huge. <laughs> For the grand finale, we have Taiwanese fried chicken. These are like massive slabs of chicken that they breaded and then fried. Then they put it on the grill and like cooked it more. That was really interesting, right? He covered it with like some kind of spice. It looked like garlic and chili. Yeah, one more IPA. Mm. It's actually not as crispy as I thought it was gonna be. It's juicy. I love the honey glaze on the outside. It does taste kind of sweet though, right? Yeah. Cheers, you guys. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wanna win some laundry detergent? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nice. I was just playing, I was just joking. That. Don't tell me, I was like, come over here, I wanna show you what the prize I want is. I thought I had it. It's rigged because why would it let go immediately? So please somebody explain to me how that game works because you grab it perfectly, it picks it up and then it lets go. It's rigged every time. Please tell us if it's not rigged though, if there's a secret to the game. But we are big losers. Big losers. I, it was like a dollar. We're fine. It's not about the money, I just hate losing. <laughs> I went rogue. Tommy was getting some shots of people and I went and got a mango smoothie to end the night. I felt like we just needed to end on a sweet note, you uh, know? I agree, yeah. I like yeah, and it's refreshing. Uh, what a great day eating our way through Taiwan. Can't get enough of the food here. Such a fantastic time. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all you guys. Love you all. Can't wait to show you guys more videos here in Taiwan.